morning everybody, happy Tuesday. We are back to school today. We had the inset day on Monday, which was Violet's birthday. I've officially got a six year old. Crazy. I've just been sorting out the morning chores. There's still some Emptying milk. dishwasher, I need to do pack lunches. Um, yeah, kids are just sat there. I also need to have a coffee, desperately. The morning routine, get the little rabbits out. You're not going to see them all day. I know. Basically, I am doing some morning ironing, the dreaded morning ironing. However, I have a new iron, which is amazing. It's, I'll show you it, it's pretty huge, although the contraption looks huge, but the iron itself is standard. Um, it's basically called the Bosch Steam Generator. And um, yeah, it's uh, slightly life-changing actually, so much easier than my old rickety iron that I had that actually didn't really steam and I can tell that now because this one is amazing. This is the Bosch steam generator. It has like this water compartment here so you don't actually hold the water in the iron. Um, it goes all through this pipe. There's a pipe for water, pipe for electric. I just have never, I mean I've seen them but I've never actually had one so um, yeah. This is the Series 16, you can see there. There's a steam button. Um, I'm actually gonna pop it on. It takes about two minutes and it will beep twice. So I have set it on the shirt setting. If you wanna change it, you just use this dial. There's wool, there's linen, which is the maximum obviously temp. Um, we've got lingerie, which is obviously just slightly lighter um, clothes that you don't want to get ruined, like silk and stuff like that. Um, and then hygiene, this is quite a good one. I've never seen anything like this before, but the hygiene is something you, like say your baby's been sick on or something like that, you need to sort of, um, sort of sanitize it. Uh, it has this hygiene one, which is a steam power that is 99.9%. Um, there we go, it's ready. So you can steam your clothes or steam your certain item if you need it sort of um, sanitised for any particular reason. So that's quite good. Um, but yeah, I usually have it on the shirt one because it's cotton. It's just what I use it for, for like school uniform. Um, it has an eco button as well, which uses 25% less energy and 35% less water. It's got the Cal and Clean, which Cal and Clean is basically a D lime scaler um sort of button which you empty you let it sort of work and sort itself out without using it you steam with this to de lime scale it what it needs doing and then you empty it out from this plug here so easy um i obviously haven't used it yet because i haven't needed it um but it looks really simple um yeah so it has loads of different settings and I'll show you actually how it works. It has this little lock here so it locks in so you know that little hands aren't going to be able to pull it down which is always good because obviously it's still quite high up. This is where you pop in the water, just there, really simple. Maximum here. I mean shirts are always my worst sort of nightmare but honestly this is an absolute doddle. That is what the plate looks like, it's very very smart. And I'll show you the steam. Let's just press this red, red button under here. And use this as a hand, handheld steamer. So you can, if you've got dresses or something that are a little bit creasy, you've just pulled out the wardrobe. You can literally use this and steam it. Yeah, that is the Bosch steam generator. I absolutely love it. I'm kind of I, I'm, I'm always the one that always bones on a Sunday when I have to do the ironing, but actually it's so much easier and quicker and the results are amazing. I haven't had a shirt that looks that good. I, I ironed a couple of shirts this morning and I haven't had shirts that look that good um, since using this because usually my, my general old iron is just not powerful enough to get all the creases out. Yeah, so I'll leave it linked below if you fancy checking it out. Perfect Christmas gift. Even, I know, like, the worst thing you could buy someone is a household product, but if it's kind of, like, this good and this useful, then it's worth it, honestly. I'm going to finish the rest of it off later. Because school clothes are the most important thing and we just don't have the time. Um, yeah, I think even Graham would actually enjoy using that because it's so super speedy. Right, I'm just getting my face up. Getting a little bit of makeup on. Topsy was cleaning her face. Was she? 
Um, <clears throat> yeah, today's a work day pretty much. I'm not going to be here all day. Oh, it's Halloween as well. Happy Halloween. <laughs> you can tell I'm not really with it this week because we've been doing lots of things over the weekend purely because I'm not going to be here. My first Halloween, I'm not spending with the children, which is a bit annoying, but it's just what happens when I've got my evening shift at the moment. So it will be changing, obviously, in December. But, um, yeah, so this morning I have booked in to have my nails done because they're naked and I want them done. So I booked that in. It's been about three weeks because I basically just Mine lost them all. Mine are naked. Because we were ready last week. Mine are naked. <laughs> um, and then I'm also having my eyelashes done. This is about four and a half weeks. I mean, they look pretty good, I'm not gonna lie, like, they have really lasted, they last really, really well, um, but they are sparse, like, especially this eye, they are sparse, they're getting a little bit sparse in different areas, and they look a bit silly, so I'm literally just having my infills done, so, um, yeah, I'm having that, dropping the kids off, they go to school at 8.35, and then I'm going to my salon, get my nails done, and my eyelashes at 9.15, should take about an hour and a half, um, and then I've got a PT. I'm not coming home today. I won't be home till this evening because I've got a PT at 12. Um, so I'll probably go from the salon to my work. Um, I've got my gym stuff on, so I might do a little mini workout depending on how much time I've got. Do my PT at 12, which is for an hour. Have some lunch in between that, and then I start work at 1.45 till 8 today. Um, I'm starting early because I've got children to induct um, around our new gym equipment. Some of them just haven't had it done. So um, yeah, that is planned for today. I'm pretty much staying at work all day. So yeah, it's gonna be not that interesting sadly, but um, that's just life and just some things just have to be done. I know I get a lot of questions um, about my lashes. I, I mean, I've had them, I've been having them done quite a long time now, over the years. I just have breaks sometimes, but um, they are individual um, eyelash extensions. And I have a full set to start with, and then every, depending on how your eyelashes do and if they fall out quite regularly, blah, blah, blah. Teeth. Then I usually have infills every three weeks, which is half the price of a full set, so it's worth keeping out with the infills. Um, yeah, but this is, you know, four and a half weeks, and they still look pretty good. Don't have to wear mascara, it's just, oh, it's so, it's so nice as well. I find it so handy because I work in the gym and I'm getting sweaty and you know doing stuff like that putting and changing mascara all the time it's just so much easier and I don't have to buy mascara anymore which is handy. I had a bit of a busy morning, I've had my nails done, I went for I think it's called Wild Fox I think it's called with a glitter you can see the glitter on the ring finger. You see I had my eyelashes done which oh my god they look so much better so much less sparse and all, they were kind of falling out quite a lot. Um, I just picked myself up a quick subway, which I'm gonna quickly munch on now. I've literally got 15 minutes before my PT, so I don't have much time. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna stuff this down. I got the turkey with lettuce and onion, which is my favorite. I have done my PT, it's quarter past one. Um, so I got out a little bit later. I'm just gonna finish off my subway because I only had two bites, didn't have enough time got a nice cold subway now which is depressing. I did get some fruit as well from Sainsbury's. I actually managed to pick up a couple of books from Sainsbury's for Alistair for Christmas. So final, yay! And I've come home to a lovely dinner of gammon. I'm so tired. I'm so gutted I missed um, the kids went trick or, tre trick or treating and Violet sweets so much. Alistair clearly has eaten a lot of his, has he? No. Nope. He hasn't? I think what it was was he Alistair hasn't got was as much polite as and took one. Alistair and Violet rather was like, oh, okay. No way. <laughs> They're like, oh, take a few. And Violet was like, okay. And Alistair's She's like, oh, I'll just take bag. one. She's got her bag. I know. Ridiculous. She wouldn't even eat them though. Alistair was just really polite and just like, yeah, one. Hey <laughs> everybody, up and starting the day once again. Oh, it's Wednesday and another day of working. I am doing overtime today. Um, yeah, I've just picked up some extra shifts over November. So I'm doing nine till three today, which is a good time. It means that I have time to drop off the children because they start school at 8.35, so it's nice and early. I'm just doing toast for the children. Um, 
yeah, and I finish at three and my mother-in-law is actually picking up the children because we have got parents evening for Violet. So yeah, that's basically plan for today. Not that great, not that, not that interesting, sadly. Um, I'm just waiting for the kids to come in because I'm just setting up breakfast. Yeah, I'm waiting for my coffee to sort out. But yeah, I'm quite perky today, surprisingly. We watched the um, British Bake Off fi final last night, which was really good. I knew who was gonna win, I just could tell. Um, but secretly I wanted Stephen to win. But um, they were all amazing anyway. Dude, you okay? <laughs> How was trick or treating last night? Was it fun? Yeah, I thought I just got my boots with me. <laughs> he has been up. You've been eating a sweet this morning because I heard wrappers. Hope your room is tidy. Is it tidy? Yeah, I cleaned it, but not my bed. I can't clean my bed. Okay. Too hard. I went in his room about two minutes ago and I was like, whoa, a bomb's gone off in it. You need to sort that out. So. A bomb? Yeah, it's just really messy. Everybody okay? Good? Kids have got the bunnies out. Who have you got? Jim. Finish my ironing quick, because um, I didn't get to finish it yesterday. We didn't have time and we're up kind of nice and early. And actually, I'm hoping this is gonna last, but the kids always wanna get the bunnies out in the morning. And I say to them, you have to get dressed before you get the bunnies out. So they've just been so speedy at getting dressed, which is amazing. So um, yeah, I hope it lasts, I hope it continues, I hope it's not just a phase. Hey girls, let's see your day yesterday, good eye. Hey, you okay? Good morning. Plan for today then, hey girls? To go see, it's like already eight o'clock. Over there with the bunnies. Obsessed. Obsessed. Aren't they fan? They obsessed. A little feasty in there, aren't they? Look, that's their breakfast. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's their breakfast. I am home. Oh, it's been a long day. Oh, I literally left at eight and now I'm back at quarter past three. This is actually gonna be my new shift on Wednesday, nine till three. It's perfect compared to like what I was doing. I was, I'm dropping my Tuesday evening and I'll be doing a Tuesday morning early and then this shift on Wednesday. So it'd be much nicer than doing what I was previously doing. Um, just getting used to it. Oh, I'm so hungry as well. I haven't eaten anything. I've had a mocha and that is it all day. Um, six hour shift, you get no break, which I think is ridiculous. Like, yeah, and I've just been manic. I've, I have not stopped all day. Home sweet home. Parents evening went really, really well. It didn't last very long, like literally like 15 minutes. Super speedy. First thing they asked, or she asked is, have you got any questions? And Graham's like, all we really want to know is that if she's like really good at school and not naughty. And um, the first thing she said was, yes, she's really, really good, but she is really, really cheeky, which I knew anyway. She was cheeky and you are really cheeky. And she's cheeky again, but she, yeah, generally she's a really good girl. So yeah, she's coming along really well with her writing, reading and her maths. They're doing subtractions and stuff. She's got no problems at all at the moment, so. And she writes a lot, which is a good thing as well, which she said. Um, it's so different as well, like, just how different like, Alistair and Violet are. I know, obviously, they're totally different children and blah, 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 but you know, we pretty much brought them up the same. But yeah, just their strengths and weaknesses and whatever, they're just very different in how, the way they've progressed in school. Um, but yeah, look what Graham got back from market. Some of these um, mince pies. I've not had a mince pie since last year. I'm gonna have one of those for pudding tonight. I just picked up some mints from the farm. So I'm gonna do some spaghetti bolognese. Something really quick because it's already half past four. Too cute. Yeah. How's he doing? Good. I did check on them when I got back from work and they seem pretty happy bouncing about. I'm cracking on my dinner. Thanks, oven. 
I've got my bolognese on the go. Uh, don't you see that? I'm just um, reducing it down now. I'm just about to put my pasta in in a bit. It's 10 to 5. Um, yeah, is it weird to like really fancy a glass of wine on a Wednesday? Like a really fancy one, which is not like me at all. I think it's probably because I've been working a bit more and half the time I don't, or as of lately, I haven't really cooked that much because we were away last week. Just haven't been in the kitchen cooking properly, so it's quite nice. Hiya. Hey. You okay? Mm -hmm. Wood in? Wood? Wood? Got wood? Got wood for log burner. Warm up the house because it's freezing. There's a bunny on the sofa. Cutting up, Violet. Good old family favourite. Violet's first tooth has just fallen out. Yuck. She's not happy about it. Got that under your pillow. Yeah? Nice and cosy there. That fire we got going. Oh, bed, babe. Time for bed. Yeah. Everybody, I've got two little monkeys in my bed. It's really dark this morning. Dark than usual. It's seven o'clock. I had a shower. Got up about half an hour -ish ago, 40 minutes ago. I actually haven't been to the kitchen or anything yet. I've just been chilling out with Vi and put up a new video. If you haven't seen it, it's my Halloween y birthday surprise one. It's basically our weekend over Halloween when the kids had an extra day off school. So if you haven't seen it, feel free to watch it. It's a vlog. Um, I just feel like I missed out on Halloween. <laughs> Keep saying it, I know. Next year, it's not gonna happen. Go into the dishwasher, do some boring chores quick. <coughs> Got work today. I'm actually training all day today, nine till four. So it should be fun though, there's a bit of theory and uh, we're training on our new Synergy equipment because we've got some fun uh, circuits to start doing from next week with customers, which is going to be really fun. So much in interesting and yeah, so that's the plan for today. I've been cracking on, getting stuff done. I've actually just made myself some toast. I need to eat. Violet is really, really struggling with having her, her first tooth come out. She hates the feeling. She's dribbling everywhere. She won't eat. Um, I don't know, I've never had this before, I've never had it with Alistair, um, yeah, so this is going to be an interesting thing when she goes to school, I'm telling her teacher, has anyone else had this with their kids? What did she do? I mean, I'm hoping she's just going to get over it, she just hates the feeling of it, so she's literally putting her tongue to the back of her throat, or like this. Just trying to get us all sorted, I'm getting a little bit panicky because Violet's not eating. Oh, it's just a little bit stressful, isn't it? Knowing that I've got work as well, so I don't even have to... I mean, if I have to come out of work and pick her up from school, it's fine, but... I'm just getting a little bit stressed about it. She's really upset about it. Oh, it's upsetting me. Um, yeah, I'm just going to sort out my, um... Hair. <laughs> and my face. Heading off to school. It's been a little bit of a stressful morning. <laughs> Kids had a little play with the bunnies. Um, sadly. Yeah, sadly a fox got in. Well, I don't know if Graham didn't notice last night, but basically two of our turkeys got killed. Two of them. By a fox. So, and we've had a few of our chicken in the chicken shed also, outside the chicken shed. Our chicken. That didn't go right? in. So, not our chicken, not our chicks, the free range hens that we've got. So that's a bit stressful and it's such a shame because obviously the turkeys are lovely and also they're kind of expensive for Christmas so that's um, a good bit of profit going down the drain. I'm on a lunch.
lunch break. It's uh, 20 to one. We've got a lunch break till five past one and then hopefully we should wrap up our synergy training um, at about half past three. So a little bit earlier than I thought. Hopefully earlier than that, but we'll see. Um, it's really good though, really informative. I start um, actually circuit classes next week, so I really need to know this. Um, yeah, it's pretty intense though. I just went to Waitrose quickly and I bought this Preka chicken roasted vegetable rice salad. I'm gonna give the school a ring because when I dropped Violet off today, she was absolutely fine, but I'm just, I don't know why, it just made me really worry um, when I dropped her off because she didn't have anything for breakfast and she was, I wanna say a little bit hysterical. Like she was really upset about like a whole gap in her mouth sort of thing. Um, I'm just hoping she's forgot about it and I informed her teacher anyway so I'm just gonna give them a quick call just to see how she's doing I'm sure she's absolutely fine I just hope she's eaten her lunch I'm home sweet home nice and early as well and the sun is shining I got home a little bit earlier it's 10 past 3 because they were going over stuff that I already knew and I've already done training for so I'm like I'm not staying here an extra half an hour-ish so yeah I'm pretty knackered though it's been a full-on day mentally taking so much in um yeah violet's done fine at school thankfully she ate all her dinner and drank lots of water so she's hopefully over this thing with her tooth missing i think she just hates the feeling of it i think that's the problem it's just the whole i did give her a mirror this morning so she could actually have a really good look at it and just understand what was there because the feeling is worse than actually looking at it double checking the mozzarella i think we're going to pizza tonight then Homemade pizza, although the cheese is like staring at me. I might maybe actually speak to the kids because we could have cheese and crackers and just something really easy. The house is an absolute tip. You know, you just feel like you really need to give it a, a good clean. I have not had the chance to give it a thorough clean for a good week. Um, and actually, because we were away last week, it didn't get done then. So yeah, it's getting on to two weeks of not having a full on, you know, deep clean. It's not too bad, it's not meh, oh, I suppose it is a bit messy. <laughs> stuff everywhere, I need to put Halloween stuff away. When do people put Halloween stuff away? Is it like the weekend after Halloween's gone or? I don't know, I feel like we've only had it up for a couple of days and already it's like, maybe we should put it away. Put it back in the loft for another year. That is just adorable. Hmm. That's... Just watch them all day. Mm. <laughs> Gonna put these bunnies back, aren't we? Probably gonna want to need a drink. He walks in his face. you can talk normally. Oh, look at him! Look at him! Look at him! He's walking in his face. So cute. Oh. It's dark. Better take these boys out for a run. Yeah. Hey, fan. Hello. You've come to see me first, have you? caked in mud. Look at this. She's covered. <laughs> Good girl. Well done, Vi. She's so dusty and dirty, isn't she? I know. Mm, I know. I know. I go for a run, don't you? Should we go take you for a run? Oh. Take you for a run. So giving you Should kisses. I? Do you believe it's Friday tomorrow? This week has flown by in some ways. I'm really sorry it's been a bit naff. Like, I've been pretty much like, hi, morning, and then oh, I'm off to work for the day. So it hasn't really been that interesting. And I feel like 
I just haven't really had chance to just be home and just do normal home things, even with kids, like when it comes to bedtime routines and it just goes out of the window really. Graham sort of takes over, which is nice. It's nice for him, he loves it. But um, yeah, it's just a bit manic. Next week is a, huh? <laughs> Next week is a um, a bit more of a quieter week. I mean, I'm still working. I'm not sure if I'm doing overtime. There, yeah, I need to have a look. I've got such a bad memory. But, um, yeah. So many people are, like talking about Christmas, though. It's just scary. It's not no, it's not Christmas. It's just scary, though, and I need to um, start getting on top of it, really. I have done a bit. And I want to start my hampers, actually. That is one thing that I really enjoy. So I've got a few bits for hampers already, but I actually want to buy the baskets because I like buying some nice baskets and I don't want to leave it to the last minute because I think I did that last year. Mommy. And it was very limited on where I could you find some nice crates. So he's sticky. He's sticky? Yeah. Why? His face. His face. Talk properly, Vi. Look at his face. Wait. Turn around, pickle. Pickle. Turn around. <laughs> Because he knows what you're saying, Violet. <laughs> He's running away. He's like, go away. My hampers. I do actually have a video from last year of what I've put in last year's hamper, and I think the year before. Here's the chickens. Fred, Goldie, Ben. Cheap, cheap. And that one's a girl, that one's a girl. The girlies are all really smaller. Amazing sky. You can see the sun is setting. Pretty much all set for dinner. I'm going to do pizza tomorrow purely because it's Friday movie night. We usually have pizza on a Friday. So, um, yeah, I've just done the cheeses. We've got crackers. We've got hummus with these, like, seeded crackers as well. Grapes, dates from the farmer's market yesterday. They're so good. So sweet and yummy. Um, and then I've got, like, sliced apple and cucumber. See how amazing that looks. You can barely see the ponies out there. The distance. Missus, you chilling out? Young chill. Back on with homework. Is this, is this business? What is this? It's having a little lie down because the brain's got the fire on. It's so cosy. And this little madam <laughs> laying on me. <laughs> I'm going to get you to bed in a minute, missus. <laughs> yeah! See your teeth? Nope. Graham's gone off to quiz night tonight. It's quiz night. He hasn't been in a few weeks, actually, because he's just been too busy. Um, yeah, I'm finishing watching. Ooh, team Mum 2. Oh. Tired, clearly. The kids both are sound asleep. I'm going to do some editing, and that is going to be my night. I'm going to go to bed. So I will catch you all for Friday. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. It's quarter past seven. We've all had like a little bit of a line than usual, which is nice. Just been cracking on with the usual. Got my violet up. Happy. Happy eating. Good. Yeah. Got a Weetabix on the go. Alistair's pretending to be a cockerel. That's, that's actually cheap cheap. There's Alistair. <laughs> Although sometimes it goes off or he goes off the wrong time and I'm like, seriously. Alistair, come have breakfast. I'm working my normal shift today, which is later on, three till seven. But um, this morning I need to get a couple of videos done, my priority, when I get back from the school run. And then I've got my trainer coming to come see Bo. Um, she hasn't been for about three weeks. It was, yeah, three weeks purely because, maybe two and a bit weeks actually, um, purely because we've been away and I've just had no time. I'm also gonna get on top of some housework and I'm gonna pack the Halloween stuff away because I thought I might as well just do it while I've got the time today. It saves me using my weekend to do it. Right. I'm sorting stuff out, the kiddies are just putting the bunnies back. One bunny, tall bunny. Chickens having a route around. Fred's like, um, excuse me, who covered up my pond? Bit, a little bit busy. I had to do a video and I've just edited it and I'm transferring it over. I've taken down all the Halloween stuff, that's um, birthday stuff, 
because Violet's birthday is obviously the same time, so I keep that stuff together. I've done a little bit of tidying. I haven't been able to hoover yet, but um, yeah, I've just been a bit consumed. I need to put another load of washing on. I've transferred one load to the tumble dryer. Okay, so I have got back in, it's half past 11. Bo has been ridden. She actually lunged her first and then rode her and she was amazing. She was actually really impressed with just her temperament. She really you could tell that she was enjoying it. And um, yeah, I've got to in for next week so I can actually ride her. I'm just making myself a cup of tea and I'm actually gonna be doing pizza for tonight. So we've got some pizza. Um, I've got some yeast fermenting here. So we're gonna have homemade pizza tonight. So I'm gonna do the dough so I don't have to think about that because obviously I've got work. Um, yeah, I'm gonna whiz around with the hoover in a minute and also gonna mop the floors because I've got enough time to do it and it really needs doing. Um, I'm gonna put a few things up in the loft, like the Halloween stuff. There's just a few things that have been on my mind that I just really wanna do before the weekend comes in because we've got a busy weekend. Um, it's firework night as well. Has anyone else got plans for firework night? Um, we're going somewhere just locally, uh, which, is, which looks good. And they do good food as well, so we'll probably get dinner there first and then actually watch the fireworks. I'm just hoping it's not going to be too wet. It's supposed to pour down tomorrow and that will be so rubbish and totally ruin it if it's like that. <laughs> done I've the whole house now I need to mop the floors I'm just finished floors are drying I'm literally looking through a bit of a damp floor right now Ooh. yeah I've done all bathrooms um kitchen and hallway laminate so that's done oh just gonna go through some emails now and do a little bit of editing Check on the bunnies. I need some more food. Hello, Bubbins. Hello. The kids did it this morning, but unless they've just been a bit greedy. Hey. So cute. Oh, he's so cosy. Let's come out with the girls. I'm going to do a bit of poo picking because um, I haven't done it for like a whole week. So I'm going to do it just so the grass can grow better, obviously. Hey. Got the puppies out. Boys are over there. I'm gonna put my camera up here and I'm hoping they're not gonna come and, and annoy it, but they're following me anyway. So let's hope she stays. Take dogs up. It's so bloody hot. I didn't realise how hot it was out here. So peaceful and so warm that sun. Graham should be back for lunch in a minute, so have a bit of lunch together. Beans on toast for lunch. Nice and easy, warming the belly. Even though it's quite warm out there, isn't it? I don't even like beans on toast that much, to be honest. It's not something I usually choose that much. Set beans. I'm usually like, nah. I usually like that. But I really fancy soup. But we don't have any soup in, so. Yes. You go food shopping as always. I am ready for work. I'm just about to head off. Yeah, so the pizza dough is looking good, but Graham's reminded me that the kids are actually staying at mother-in-law's tonight um, because she is away next week and she said she'd have them today instead. Um, but also we are going out tomorrow night for fireworks, so she wouldn't need to have them anyway. So um, yeah, it's just pizza for me and Graham tonight, which would be nice. I think Graham said that he's gonna crack on and make pizza just before I get home. I feel like I need to get something, but I can't remember what it is. You know, you're just walking around the house thinking, what do I need to put in my bag? <laughs> and actually sent us a new battery for our V6 last week, and oh my God, it's amazing, isn't it? Really what a difference. Yeah, they were really good, because basically red light was flashing on it, 
and it just didn't charge anymore. So we contacted, I contacted them through email, we've obviously set up my warranty. I think we've had it for two years, have we? Yeah. Two years this year, I think, the end of this year. So we're still under warranty anyway, and they were really quick. They were like, right, this is the problem. It was flashing for so many like lights. Um, and we just send you out a new battery, and they did, literally within like two days. It was a really good service, actually. And since we've got a new battery, so much more powerful, surprising. Um, yeah, back from work, it's half past seven, just waiting on our pizzas. Scrims made our, made my pizza. In so, the shape of a heart. In the shape of a heart. Because I love you. So romantic. <laughs> that oh. face. Hello, hello. Oh. So romantic. Yeah, just waiting on dinner and then we're gonna go sit down. What we're gonna watch, Walking oh Dead? God. Yeah, we've got Walking Dead to catch up on, so we'll probably watch, it's an hour, isn't it? Just one episode we need to watch. So that should be good. And then, I don't know, we're just gonna have a chilled evening. These puppies in. Hello. He's so scruffy, he needs a groom so badly. Heart shaped pizza, look how good that is. Graham actually put the whole pack of pepperoni on my pizza as well. It's quite huge though, as you can see. <laughs> Got the fire going. Off to bed, absolutely knackered. Hope you have a great weekend. I really hope you enjoyed this weekly vlog. Don't forget to check out my other vlogs. Um, I have been kind of, they've been a bit delayed, obviously, from having the problem last week. So I'm bringing out more vlogs, actually, which is a good thing. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this weekly vlog. Let me know if you have, and I will see you all soon.